Okay, George, uh, penalty defeat against Barnet. We've gone toe to toe with one of the best sides in the league, really. It's a cruel way for us to lose the game. Yeah, um, listen, all, all congratulations to Barnet first and, and famous. Um, we wish them all the best in the next round. Um, penalties, it's a, lot, it's a lorry. It can go either way. Um, their players took, took theirs and they put them in the back of the net. However, we didn't, so we wish them all the best. But I'm just going to touch on on our team, on our performance, on that performance you saw out there today. It was full of grit, it was full of fight, it was full of energy, it was full of quality. Each and every one of our players gave it their all out there today, throwing their bodies on the lines. They were warriors out there today for us, like they've been throughout. Um, so I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled with the way our boys, our players, went about about um, the, cup, the, 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 the the quarterfinals today. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, they've got one of the you know probably better set pieces in this league, to be honest, the way they've also got so many tall players, you know, in and around the six-yard box. But the second half, you know, we seemed to deal with them a lot better and limit them to those chances, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, they brought in a long throw specialist and our players there with everything that was thrown at them. And at the same time, we are proud of, of our players um, in terms of how they approach the game. They operated from a, a fantastic tactical game plan from, from us. They took on board what we asked them to do and they executed, executed it um, properly in terms of how we went about it from the tactical game plans we had. Um, you know, Banner had to change their game plan. They had to change their shape to try and nullify us. So all credit to, to our boys, to our players. For making sure that that happened. I mean, Barnett's a fantastic side in terms of um, going back in the league. They are fifth in the league, I think, and for us to absolutely take them all the way and push them all the way um, and to be separated by, by, by penalty shootouts, it's all, it's all credit is what is in our changing rooms in terms of um, our personnel, in terms of our players, what they can do on, on a given day. I mean, you talk about the grit and fight, um, you know, like we've We've, we've sort of, you know, gone right, right into it. I mean, that was a, that was a game where, you know, those players were desperate not to lose the game for the football club. You could see, like, say, the fight and everything. The second half, it was, it got quite tense. Um, but they, they absolutely gave absolutely everything, didn't they? You can't ask more for that. Our players go out every single game. It's not just today. They've been giving their all every single game, even when the chips are down. They always seem to find a way to try and make sure they do this football club proud. And you could see it again today. The first half performance, but more so the second half performance. Um, we started, we started really well on the front foot, making sure we were first and second to everything. Um, not getting, not 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 getting scared to not put our foot in. Um, winning the first phases and winning the second phases and trying to get that third goal. And um, again, it all shows how much our players, our group of players, want it. Um, we want success, but at the same time, we know we have to take it a step at a time, um, game by game. And we go and make sure now we look after everyone to make sure to ensure that we we, we recover properly, and then we look forward to to our next game. I think it was a very bittersweet moment for for Sol Wanjou Smith. He scored a you know lovely penalty during the game. Obviously he's missed on the shootout, but the impact he gave after coming off on the bench with Deeks and you know showed what what he's capable of at this level. Um, Watch the space we saw Wanjou Smith. That's all I'm going to say. He's got he's got some serious courage in him to be able to do that um, with the pressure. It's amazing to see. That just shows you what we got in our hands in our football club. But we must make sure we look after him to keep him fit and make sure he's available for games. Us, the management team, we we'll try and manage Seoul as best as we can and ensure that he's available for games and make sure you know he keeps performing in this in this in this um, in this rhythm like he did today. He come on today and um, gave everything but it's not just that he was a threat throughout the game um, and it's not just Seoul it's the other players as well because they have to get that ball to Seoul to ensure that you know he, he does what he does so again in him we know we've always got um, a match winner in us we know we've got someone that can unlock defenses and that goes on with all the all the forward players we've got at the football club so it's about picking the right the right game the right tactics to to make sure we play the right personnel as we see the games, uh, as we analyze the games as, as a management team, and then we, we select the team that's best to start and also the, the substitutions that will come on and, and impact the game for us. 
I mean, how do you sort of pick up the lads really after a defeat like today? Obviously, we've now got what eight, nine league games to go, big league games, obviously, for the club. Um, you know, it's going to be a hard task to get him up, but obviously, you're always, always so positive and everything. You know, you'll be doing your best in that to make sure that they put this one to bed. It's done now. We've got to focus on getting three points next Saturday, Maidenhead. It's easy. It's easy to pick our boys up. They don't need picking up. I've just said to them, we've just said to them in there, Listen, you left everything on the pitch and this football club, everyone that's connected to Manchester United is proud of each and every one of you, including the ones that were sitting up in the stands. They're, they've all been involved. They were in there, you know, cheering on, on, on the team, making sure they, they, they express their support. Um, so there's no, there's no, no one is down in the changing room. I've told them when they come out of this, this door to have their heads up because They've just put in a shift and a half for, for everyone at this football club today and they should be proud of we should be proud of that performance. If we are proud of that performance, I'm sure anyone that was watching that today, our fans, yes, they might be dis they might be disappointed because the Wembley dream is over, mm. but the dream is not over just yet. The dream is not over, it's very much alive. This is just the beginning of Mr. United Football Club and we will get better. It might take a bit of time, but we will get better by our players, each and every one of them left everything on this on this on this football pitch today for our football club and that's all we need to remember now. Well, thanks for your time, Joseph. Thanks. Thank you very much.